Hey, welcome back to Web Squadron. I want to show you something super, super cool. How can you create an animated background for your website, which isn't like a stock photography, you know, stock photography, stock video or anything like that, or something you've got to go away and manufacture or get someone to record, something really simple. And it could literally be a background you've already got or something that's got your logo. You just want to add a little bit of animation. But lotty animations, motion effects, and all these wonderful things just aren't really working for you. Can we create a really simple animation? And guess what? Yes, we can. And we, of course, we're going to be using WordPress and Elementor, but we're going to be using Canva. So let's just see how we do it. Okay, so when you see how this works, you're going to be like, wow, I am ready to create some brilliant stuff or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm just in Canva. Okay, we do have a premium account, but you can use a free account as well. And I'm just going to go over to look at some of the previous elements I've used. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one that we actually used uh, as, a, as a tester for someone's website. So I'm just going to pick an image. I mean, you can search for any images you want, by the way, but I'm going to pick this image here. Okay, so let me just take that off. I'm just going to pick this image over here like so. And I'm just going to stretch the image just a little bit to be roughly like so. OK, it's not it's not doing anything amazingly fantastical at the moment. I'm also just going to flip the image as well. So I have this orange going into a acry bluey color kind of. I don't even know what it is, but I love the image. It looks really cool. What I'm then going to do is make a copy of this image. OK. And I'm going to adjust it and I'm just going to make it as saturated like that. So it's a grayscale. And then I'm going to crop the image down to be roughly in the center. And then I'm going to position it to be something like that. And I think I've got that spot on. Roughly, I think I've got that spot on. Yeah, I think that that will do. Yeah. OK, so I've got this orangey image and then I made a copy, cropped it a little bit and just put it against the middle there like that. So it now just goes straight into a gray color. You could now export that as a PNG, stick it into WordPress, add it onto Elementor or a section background, job done. But let's make it a little bit more pizzazzy, you know, wonderful, like, mwah, you know, let's just add some animation to it. So again, in Canva, there's loads of animations you can use, but I'm going to pick one. I'm just going to do, um, let's go for circle animated. There we go. Because I'm actually after a particular image here. Now I could use one of these, but it's actually uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I might have to go to my recently used, by the way, um, because it is someone one of the ones I was using. There it is. Right. So this image here, it is just a spinning circle. Okay. You know nothing amazing about it. But what I'm going to do is if I shrink it, and I now just position it over here, all of a sudden this little image. You know, it looks very futuristic. It just comes alive a little bit, don't you think? And I'm going to make a copy of that and I'm going to shrink it. So I've got another version of it like so. Stick it in the middle and I'm just going to give it a bit of a rotation just so we get a bit of variation. And there we go. We now have a little bit of this image going on there on the page. Right. It is six seconds, but I don't really care because the way this works, it, because of the, the kind of jittery effect of it, you don't have to worry about the end matching the beginning and looping perfectly. That is fine for me. OK, I'm then going to download this and I can download it as an MP4 video. Now, at this point, you're probably thinking, I know that if I take a six second video or a 10 second video on my camera or whatever, it's going to be about 20 gigabytes in sight. Probably not 20 gigabytes, but probably it's going to be a fair amount of megabytes. That video is now downloaded. OK, right. Let's now go to uh, our media library and add it into here. OK, by the way, though, th there's lots of animations you can use here. I mean, it's like, you know, you like, look, if I take this uh, picture here and you know, I just want to again make a point. Look, let's just take this picture, right, of a rocket taking off kind of thing. Let me take this, put the fire back in again. Let me crop the fire. So let me just crop the start of it like that. Hit done. Let's flip it vertically and with a bit of clever, um, you know, resizing, obviously you're going to have to play around with it and get it right. You could like create a bit of a, like an effect like that. 
I mean, how simple is that? And then you could have some words that fly in maybe, you know, you know, um, let me just take this text here, right? Let's just stick that text in. And if I click the text and I click animate, I can now do something like this or even typewriter or just bounce the words in. For instance, how they appear. I mean, it'll only appear once. It's not going to keep repeating and looping, but there's something you could create here within Canva. And then you just export it as an MP4 file. MP4 file. Right. Let's go to our media library. OK. Hello. Look at me. Right. Let's just add that uh, video. OK. So we're going to select files, go to our download and it is here. Untitled design. I should have titled it. Very bad. Always title your stuff. Right. OK. So that is now uploaded. OK. It's, it's done it really quickly. If I now go to my library, get ready to be surprised here. OK. 800 kilobytes. That is not big. And I have put some through which were only like 400 or 300 kilobytes for a five, second, five, six second video. That's not bad. You can compress these videos, but bear in mind, though, you're going to drop a bit of the quality when you compress a video. If this was hitting into the megabytes, I would say maybe do compress it. But 804, we will go with that at the moment. Right. I'm going to copy the file URL. OK, file URL, job done. Right. Let's now just go over to a page. Let's just add a new page in. And we're going to call this a uh, video section, section, section. There we go. Hit that there. I'm really rubbish at singing. I'm never in tune, am I? You ever heard me in the shower? No, you haven't, but you don't want to anyway. Right. So we're over here and we're just going to add in a section. OK, we're just going to go at full width, you know, not too bothered at the moment. And I'm just going to set the height to be, uh, let, let's just give it a, a reasonable height. Obviously, you would do columns and sections and whatnot. We then go over to the style, OK? And rather than doing like a, a color or a gradient or a picture, we're going to go to video. And I am just going to paste the address of our video. You know, that's, that's where it was. We copied the address. We just pasted it in. And look, it is there with the animation, right? So now I could, if I want, go in and now add in some text, you know, um, let's just, let's just, let's just, you know, whatever we're going to call it. Let's just do that. I'm, 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 I'm just messing around now at the moment, you know, blah, blah, blah. However you're going to do it. Uh, let's just make this a boxed, by the way. Let's make it a boxed of about 800. No, let's go for a thousand. Just so you can see it on my screen. At the moment here, let's hit publish. And I probably want to just, you know, I mean, look, I, you would do it properly. Margins, padding, column, section, you would work it through all properly. But I just want to get this over to you. Look, we have an animated section. I'm not having to pull a video through from YouTube or anywhere else like that. Don't go over, over the top, though. Don't start putting in a 20, 30 second video and then it starts to go into three, four, five megabytes because then you are adding on a bit of load onto your website. But that is a super simple way of adding in an animated section. And that animated section, by Jove, we can do more with this. You know, I mean, look, this is just for, you know, let's just do another section, another column. And let me just add into this column. Over here, you know, sorry, you can't do it on a column. What am I doing? Sorry. What you could do is I could, oh, silly video, is if I just get rid of that text there, if I stick in a video here, and again, I'm going to get rid of this text and stick that in there. Again, look, it's going to bring it through. Oh, it's because it's YouTube. Sorry. Yeah, self-hosted, dude. Make sure you put the right one in. So self-hosted, um, choose file, stick the video in. There you go. So you can also add that. I mean, obviously, you know, you're not going to want to have the controls present and things like that. But again, it's not going to work as well because you've got to sometimes you will have to hit play on a mobile. Mobiles don't always auto play. Just bear that in mind with any type of video. But I'm just trying to get you in. Wait, uh, loop, mute, because there is no sound anyway. Play on mobile. And there we go. All right. So let me just do that. Get myself out of the way. I'm just getting across to you how we just created an animation. And 
In Canva, there is so many funky stuff you can do. You know, like when you saw this video, the intro, which had the subscribe button, you know, and my little face in the corner and in the video of me, that was just done with Canva. There's so much you can do. So I'm not, I'm not trying to sell Canva to you or anything like that. I'm just saying, here's some funky ways of how you can use it to create some pretty cool section backgrounds. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.